Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for this edition of YBM Cast Player Spotlight. And we have a good one for you here today. And uh, I want to introduce our guest coming to us all the way from the west side of the state uh, from Lee Summit West High School, Drew Dickerson. Drew, thanks for joining us, buddy. Thank you for having me. Uh, no, I appreciate it. I think this is great. Uh, I love talking to uh, the athletes. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Gets uh, Gives us a different perspective, um, especially with um, how competitive baseball is in this state right now. And mm-hmm. up and down, uh, we got a lot of dudes going power five. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, every – not every team but most teams have at least one maybe two so it's crazy it's 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 an interesting dynamic right now so but we're going to get into this and um but first i always before we get into the other stuff i always like to get some foundation and uh go back to youth baseball now i know what it's like here in the loo and it gets pretty kooky (laughs) uh What's it like over on the west side of the state, you know, growing up playing baseball? Are you guys as fanatical over there as we are over here? Uh, I mean, I, I would I would believe so. I spent a lot of days at 3-2 and two over here, uh, <laughs> a lot of days over there. But <laughs> it was a good time. So tell talk to me, when did you start playing ball? How old were you? I was seven. Um, I played up on a – just a, a small little team. Uh, and I played, I mean, I'll be honest, I played like single A for most of my life. I honestly told maybe middle school. And then I think I jumped to whatever it was, but the travel ball circuit or whatnot. But I mean, for a while, I mean, I was playing single A and double A. And so I wasn't in the, the cool group with all the <laughs> triple A major kids and whatnot. <laughs> Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I right, go play, <laughs> you know, and, and that's something I think, you know, I love what you said there. I think that's very interesting, but it, it didn't seem to, to hinder your abilities at all. Did it? No, I don't believe one bit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So this area back here is basically production. Um, they do a lot of the artwork down back here. They do the production. So any of that stuff that comes in off of, we'll say, our fanware stores, stuff that comes in off the team stores, a lot of the coaches wear, a lot of the last minute, hey, we got to have it in the next 10 minutes stuff, that all comes back here. This area is where all the day-to-day stuff that comes in really goes through. The retail store is its own little entity. This is where the real work is done. Did you uh, d- now? Did your dad coach a team, or did you play for a club? What what was uh, what was the story there? Yeah, so my first year, uh, he he didn't coach me. Like for, for my first year of every sport I played, he uh, he just like let me figure it out first before he kind of jumped in, if if you will. Um, so the first year, I joined this this team just through my you know whatever little town I'm in. Um, sure. And so played with them first year, and then he ended up coaching with them the next year. And so, and I played with them for uh, a lot of my, uh, I mean, a lot of my youth. I, um, so, did you he, play uh, up through middle to, school? Yeah, um, yeah. Till kind of honestly, high school, maybe freshman year, sophomore year. Um, he ended up stopped coaching me last year, though. Um, last year was his last year with me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah now did your ha- did your dad have experience playing ball or was it he just- did okay yeah he did he played uh he played at college for a little bit but um he i mean he played all of his life too there you go now when you were playing it at the youth level you said you were like a and double a and all that was it a club or did you guys just were an independent team uh, we were an independent team. 
I, I'm sorry, I can't remember years, but we were an independent team for a while. And then uh, I ended up moving and I, I mean, we like went as a group into uh, Inside Edge. That's a uh, team over here. But uh, we ended up going over there as a group and he was, he was the main coach. My dad was. Um, so we played there and then uh, they merged with U.S. Nationals and I played there for one year with them. And then, so that's, I mean, those were my uh, clubs that I've played for until this last year with the Sticks. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Noah yeah. Briley. Uh, yeah. We're going to have a conversation with uh, with him. And we're going to, on our winter workout tour uh, this coming uh, January, uh, we do a winter workout tour every year uh, with Game 7 Baseball. And this year we're going to, we're heading over to Kansas City and we're making a stop over at Inside Edge. We're going to bring our cameras and stuff. So absolutely, man. Noah, yeah, Noah runs an amazing program over there. I mean, yeah. he got kids flowing over there. So uh, <laughs> you'll probably see me in there. Hey, love to. I'd yeah. love to see you over there. It'd be fun. Absolutely, uh, yeah. We're going to be over there, I believe, Drew. Yeah, it's the first weekend in January, just after the first uh, of the year. So Perfect. we're looking forward to it, man. Trying to get over awesome. more on that side of the state. You know, yeah. Have some yeah. fun with it. So, yeah, for sure. When you got, uh, so you got, you've been playing ball basically your whole life. Yeah. Uh, how, talk to us about influences. Evidently, your dad's been a big influence, your parents, yeah. your family. You know, has there been anybody else that's really helped you along the way that way? Uh, I mean, for sure, my dad. He has definitely been, I mean, the person I've I've dreamed of being, honestly, since I was a kid. Um, and then there's been high school kids, like when I was younger, and I would look up to high school kids. Um, so Cam Carswell, he was uh, he was one of my bigger influences. He went to Mizzou and played it a little bit down there but he was uh we were teammates for a year in high school but i looked up to him a lot um i just i, I kind of kept it simple uh small circle but those are those are my two big guys for sure and nah, nothing wrong with that man yeah when you so after playing through you know youth baseball it's fun whatnot you get into um summer ball in high school you're playing high school ball did you uh, did you start? When did you uh, first start as on the varsity squad? Was it your sophomore, junior? It was my freshman year. I was oh. uh, I was on it freshman year. Wow. Well, that shows you. Uh, there you go, folks. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's not an easy thing to do. No. Talk to me then about as you as you come up through there, summer baseball, high school baseball. So, I mean, it's not taking shots at anyone either. That's not what I'm doing. But um, high school is more like you've kind of grown up with those people. And so, I mean, you you know them a lot better in, in my uh, circumstance right here. So, I mean, you kind of have grown up playing with them. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then you kind of just go compete against some more of your friends. Um, and it's, I think it's more of like a, a team thing. Um, I think you play more as a team. You just you practice more. Um, and then the summer, uh, you go and kind of meet new guys and see new faces from around the world and you travel, I mean, around the world with guys you don't even know. And so you make a relationship with people and they're, I mean, forever lasting, some of them. And so it's kind of cool. You, uh, I mean, you travel with some dudes that want to like fulfill the same dreams as you. And I mean, they have the same goals as you as well. So it's, it's, I think it's two different things. Um. I mean, I think they're both really cool, but it's I don't know. it's it's very different, though, isn't it? I do, yeah, I do think it is, yeah. I liked how you put that. I think uh, you know, I I do agree with you. I think high school baseball, you you know, in the summer, yeah, everybody wants to win, but you're playing in these showcases and you're showcasing right. your talent, right? Right. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, everyone. I would say is trying to do that more so in the summer than in high school, just because there's more, I think, I think opportunity for scouts out there is what I think. You don't see a lot of bunting at, the, uh, <laughs> no, at Lake Point, not. do you? <laughs> no, no, not much. 
<laughs> Are you willing to lay down a bud for your high school coach? Oh yeah, we hey. we do bunt a lot actually. So yeah, baby. Uh, hey, <laughs> you know, got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about uh, your high school coach and your relationship with him. Um. So I mean, I've been we've been really close for I mean three years now, four years, um, and he's they both are awesome. Um, I'm in I mean like two of his classes, so I mean I, I'm with him constantly. Um, we're 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 close. Um, trust him. He trusts me. We trusts everyone. You know, he's an awesome guy. So uh, our relationship is pretty close, and uh, he's he's a he's an awesome guy. I want to I want to ask you this too. You know, you've tra- evidently been traveling a lot with the teams you play with. Yeah. What's the funnest place you've ever gone to and played ball? Hmm. Area codes was really fun. Um, that I mean, just the the atmosphere there was really fun. But I mean, I also played at the Diamondbacks Field, so I would probably say that was the coolest thing that yeah. I've done. Um, but at the same time, you can't like put out Lake Point and East Cobb in those places. So I don't know. That's a hard. It's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard question. When you're traveling with with guys that you maybe not have played with before, you maybe just met. What? How is it? Um, what's the dynamic there? And how do you set yourself in place to create that relationship or help build those relationships? Mm-hmm. I mean. Like I said earlier, I mean, everyone kind of has the same goal um, for the most part. And so I think you connect with another another one of the dudes just just because you guys are both trying to accomplish something at the end of the day. And so when you're like or when you're around like minded people, I mean, you kind of just you guys connect easy. Mm-hmm. Um, and so just I mean, just having a free mind going out there and playing playing like you're just playing wiffle ball. I mean it's pretty it's pretty easy everything should just connect i love that man it's like we're playing wiffle ball <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i definitely want to see you play baseball man <laughs> let's just go play wiffle ball dude yeah i love that yep. the um the recruiting process uh yep. everybody's looking at your hat there uh congrats again uh on <laughs> Thank you. uh commitment to OU is this the school you wanted uh it's it's definitely it wasn't in the first place Mm -hmm. Uh, I can just be honest with everyone um wasn't in the first place like it wasn't like one of my uh top schools that I was thinking about but once I you know got to know the the coaching staff in the town it was definitely it was definitely home very good Norman right Norman Oklahoma yep yeah yep so talk to us when you, you – what was the first time you, you started entering in and thinking about uh, the recruiting process? And how – and who are the people that have helped you along this path? So uh, my mom and dad took me to a Mizzou camp in eighth grade around the winter. They had a, a little winter workout. And uh, so they took me down there. And that's obviously, you know, where we live. So it's kind of – that was always like a – that would be cool if, you know, I could go play there, you know. Um, they're, and they're an SEC school, so that, I mean, that sounded awesome. Um, going down there, I had zero, you know, we're just, we're just like, getting in the door, you know. Um, so I had zero, like, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I didn't go in there thinking I was going to hear from them, honestly. I thought I was just going to kind of see what it looked like. Um, and after I did Enfield, I... <laughs> I mean, I talked. Todd Butler pulled me aside, and we had a conversation, and that was the very first, like, eye-opening moment. I was like, "Oh, this is actually a this is actually a real thing." Like, I mean, this could happen. Um, and so, I gotta stop you there real quick. I gotta ask you this, okay? He pulls you aside and talks to you after you do infield. Was that a realization? You're like, "Oh, maybe I'm pretty good." <laughs> it it was. I'm I'm a very I'm a very humble person, so I'll, um, I'll never kind of say I'm good. Right. Uh, but that was my eye-opening moment of like this is a, this could be a real thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. I had to do that. 
<laughs> you're, you're good. Um, anyway, he he uh, talked about. I mean, he just kind of tried to get to know me first. Um, we had, I want to say, two phone calls after that camp, and I ended up committing to Mizzou. Um, it was like in March of my eighth grade year, uh, and then I was with them till this uh, beginning of this summer. Um, and then obviously their the coaching staff changed, and uh, I decommitted from that. And I mean, I said all was open, so I still let the new guys recruit me. But um, then had a crazy, not a crazy summer, but it was definitely a, a busy summer um, of trying to figure out where I was going next. So you decommit, and I understand because, you know, these were guys that you'd been talking to for what, you know, three years yeah. basically, right, and <laughs> yeah. developing that relationship. I understand right. that. That's got to be a difficult situation, right? Oh, it was It was one of the harder decisions I've had in, I mean, my whole life. It was, it was, a, it was a difficult time for sure. Yeah, because you were wanting to play Mizzou, but – you know, right. the relationships, how do you do that? And I think that's a tough thing. And and that's why you yeah. see a lot of guys do what you did. And I, I know I respect that. Yeah. Talk to then, you know, once it opened up, once you opened back up, what was your criteria? What really uh, set you in motion? And what were you looking for uh, as you moved into that next phase? Um, so I, I wrote a list of, you know, schools that I was – I could, I guess you could say were the, the dream schools you could say. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote those down and I, I reached out to a few of them, you know. But other than that, when I was trying to find or people were calling me, it's all about like I'm a people's person. Uh, and obviously relationship is a big thing. I was with Mizzou for a few years and we created a, a relationship that I didn't have with anyone else. Like I, I never talked to anyone other than Mizzou and their staff. So uh relationship was like the biggest the biggest uh thing for me um and then i think once i got comfortable with certain uh coaching staffs and whatnot i i then had to go like see it i, I have to go and be in the moment i think um and so i would i would go kind of see see the place and see people in person because i also think that's a that's a big thing mm -hmm. um and then from there it's just kind of a feel thing um, and making sure that, that the relationship you had wasn't a, just a, I'm looking pretty right now type of thing, you know, <laughs> and it was actually a real relationship. Um, I so that. it was a, I, I mean, it was a long thing, but mm -hmm. it was, it was worth it. Let me ask you then, you know, I'm sure academics, I know mom, dad, especially moms are always like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, what, what academically, how did uh, Oklahoma check those boxes? So, uh, I, I, uh, I'll say this with you. I, I'm dyslexic, and uh, not, not too many people know that. But um, So school is a little bit more difficult for me. And uh, mm -hmm. they, they have a lot of um, things that will help me. Uh, their, their academics is just... I mean, it made me more comfortable than, than anything else. And that was a big, that was like, that was a big part of it. I mean, because if I'm not, you know, succeeding in the classroom, it's not going to, it's not going to go over to the field very well. So that was a big thing. And they made me, they made me feel like it was all going to be fine. And they had every, every tool they, uh, that I need to, to win. So that was a big thing. I love that, that you have to feel comfortable with that. Yeah. Sure. I liked what you said there because if you're not comfortable with that, it's hard to perform playing right. baseball, yeah. right? If you're right. concerned about how am I going to get my grades, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. very good. And because it's such an important thing, you know, I know with the NIL money now and all the mm -hmm. things that way, uh, the conversations, but it's still, I mean, I still think the student athlete part, especially with baseball, because you know, it, there's no real full scholarships, you know, in that right. respect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you, you, you have, you, you have to deal with what you have to deal with and whatnot. So I think, and grades are a huge part right. of 
recruiting with baseball, mm-hmm. correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And just, I mean, comfort is a big thing, I think. And so if you're not comfortable, it's not, I mean, you're not going to be the best you. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. So Oklahoma, um, they've always been a pretty much, they're getting ready to go to the SEC now as well. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's, that, that was, a. Uh, I mean, that's very exciting for everyone for sure. But, uh, I think it's going to be cool. It would be my the first year I'm there, too. And so I think if we could hit the ground running, honestly, and make a, make a change about it. There you go. I like that. I want to talk a little bit as we finish up here about uh, Lee Summit West. You guys yep. um, evidently got a pretty uh, – you got a pretty decent team. I've looked at it. Um, I think you've got uh, some returning starters yeah. that I think are going to be very good. And, uh, yep. I mean, just across the board, I think you have a legitimate shot at a district title. Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed for sure. Uh, on paper, I mean, everything, I mean, it's pretty much the same team. We'll, we'll grab a few few guys, I believe. Um, I don't, obviously, I don't have to say in that, but. Right. Um, we do have a few guys that will will step up and take a job for sure, um, but we have a lot of returning guys that have experience, and so I mean that's a experience is a big a big thing in high school baseball, and we have I mean pretty much every position has that. So who are the pitchers uh, that you're looking at? Do you think is going to be able to carry you guys a little bit this year? Uh, so obviously we have Tyler Wood. He's a uh, he's a big big recruit and big guy. He's uh he's been working his butt off. Um, Sebastian Coleman also, he's also been working his butt off. Um, he played a little bit of football this, this, uh, fall. So, but he's, uh, he's switched back over to baseball now. Uh, and then we got Evan Watson. He's also, those are our three returning, uh, three returning guys. Very good. Offensively. I know you have yourself. Who are the guys in that lineup that you know, uh, that you think you're going to be able to count on? Uh, to provide that offensive firepower for you? So, I mean, honestly, we have a very good offense. Um, I mean, Braden Barbie, he he led off for us last year, and he, I mean, he makes contact with the ball. He's he's on base most most of the time. Um, so you can always trust him getting on. He also might be the best bunner I think we've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> he lays it down pretty good. But uh, so he's 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 a good lead off for sure. And then uh, Jackson Aiken, he's a he got his feet wet last year in varsity and destroyed, like really became something big. Um, so he's he's a, he's another big bat. Uh, Blake Jones is also another big bat. I mean, Ren Rhoda Bush, Owen Polly, Adam Dodd. I mean, we're all gonna hit. Austin Marsh, he's gonna hit. Like any one of us is gonna get on. Like it's gonna. We're. I mean, we got a good offense. And we're all pretty confident up there. I like it. I can tell the confidence in you right there. And, yeah. you know, and th- this is what we were talking about earlier with high school baseball. I can see that, you know, you kind of light up talking about this, you yeah. know, looking forward to this year. You you feel very good about this, don't you? We all do, yeah. We're all very excited. I mean, we know nothing's, you know, nothing's guaranteed to happen or anything but i mean we're all competitive and we're we're ready to go like we've we've uh, started weights and we're all we're all excited you can see us kind of we're pushing we're pushing through it and we i mean we're excited we can't wait for it to to finally come up it's going to be i think this is where high school baseball as we said earlier and you alluded to really differs from the summer a little yeah. bit of camaraderie these are guys you know that you've been sweating with for right four years maybe right, three yeah. years depending upon where they're at in there yeah that makes a huge impact doesn't it i i mean yeah i mean Caden carter like sabat and Caden carter and sebastian in the gym i mean they push us like and like pushing us in the gym is just getting us ready for you know the actual the game you know and that's just gonna it's just gonna roll over and so just having that for the last few years, I mean, we've all kind of just been waiting for it to finally like become a thing this year. And so yeah. we're excited. 
who are the teams that you, that you guys, you know, kind of uh, are looking at that could be, you know, the, your nemesis, where, where are you at that way as far as uh, conference and things of that nature? Uh, so, I mean, Staley – and Blue Springs also have a pretty good returning like amount of people. Oh yeah. Um, but obviously, Liberty, Liberty North is going to be Liberty North. I mean, they're you, and you can't say anything bad about them, right? Um, Liberty is always good. Yeah. Um, yeah. At least the, hopefully, Summit and least Summit North. I mean, they'll give us they'll give everyone a fight. You know, like there's not Blue Springs South. They're going to be good again. Like it's, yeah. the whole conference is. I mean, you put Rockers in there too. They're going to be good. Like. There's not really a, a weak link. It's like you said, there's dudes, you know, DeMario, you mentioned Evan DeMario yeah. at Rockhurst, Cole Gibbler at Blue Springs. Yep. Um, you know, and you still have Trey Snyder and Bo, Bo Jonas over at uh, uh, Liberty North. I mean, yeah. just those two guys alone. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. it's kind of interesting. I think that's, uh, Jonas is going to Oklahoma too, right? No, he, got, he, uh, he decommitted this uh, this summer too. So Did he? He's okay. he, he opened it back up, but he was going there. That's what I thought. Okay, so but yeah. he's he's decommitted as well. All right. Well, yeah. I was going to say it'd probably be better playing with him than against him, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, uh, that is a gauntlet over there, year in and year yeah. out. And yeah. I know the team that comes out of there, uh, out of those areas, out of those districts. It, it, you, you're ready to play in a Final Four, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we, personally, we haven't done that, but – Right. I mean, been a while, but, yeah, anyone anyone's ready to go after they get through through our side. Are you guys playing any tournaments this year? Uh, I believe we have – I know we play in Lawrence. We do the we've, – we've played that same tournament every year. Um, and I, I think we're doing some Springfield tournament, but – I'm not for sure what what the dates are on those or the the names of it, but yeah, I do yeah, believe sure. we have the very good. Well, yeah. Drew, I'm going to uh, let you go. Perfect. And um, man, I sure did enjoy this conversation. Yeah, I appreciate it. I had and a good time. This is our first time, folks, meeting each other. This was a real pleasure. Um, yeah. I, a bright young man here. I think uh, you got a bright future. I appreciate that. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, uh, Drew Dickerson, Lee Summit West High School and Oklahoma Commit. Make sure you check this out. I mean, go if you're in that area, man, go watch some baseball. There's some really high-level baseball being played over there in that Kansas City area. So make sure you go out and support your team and get out in those stands and cheer them on. It'd be a lot of fun. Hopefully we're going to get over there. I don't know how much, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll see you on the winter workout tour. Yeah, gotta, yeah. yeah. I'll see so, you then. Absolutely. Folks, thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, look, if you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button right there. Next to it is that dinger. Hit that dinger. Because, you know, right? Chicks dig the long ball, right? They <laughs> do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, and that dinger gets you all your notifications for upcoming episodes, and that's what we do, and it's great now. Stuff like this. So please do. And also, if you're looking for some merch, we got some merch out there. Go to our website, youthbaseballmidwest.com. Uh, check out our merch store. Uh, it helps us keep this stuff rolling here for interviews such as this with this fine young man. So, again, thanks, Drew. Appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day in the Lord. Pitchers, keep throwing strikes. Hitters, Drew, give some advice to hitters. Just hit dingers. That's there it. You go. Hit it hard. <laughs> we'll see you all next time. Thank you.